So why did Plug DJ fail? Well, Plug DJ failed because financial issues. In other words, they ran out of money. They couldn't keep the site running. And I think I read somewhere that um, they had like $10 million in funding or something. So they had a lot of funding. They just couldn't find a way to be become profitable. And keep in mind, this was back in 2015. Like... It's not now. <laughs> like now, at least people have a reason. The pandemic and stuff, the COVID and aftermath and stuff. But this was back in 2015 when the world was good, right? The world was fine back then. Uh, you didn't have like you know, people dropping dead from the COVID, you know. But like, um, still, they somehow ended up not being able to make it, make their site profitable. And I just found that kind of interesting. Um, that's why built music because I was like because uh, pl- I think plug DJ initially they they were licensing licensing music um, because you know, people were playing copyright music and they had to get the license right so uh, they were paying for these licenses and I think at some point um, they realized that wasn't sustainable so they switched to a workaround uh, YouTube videos right um, People could play YouTube videos on their site, and that was like their workaround around the licensing pro- uh, issue. And that was fine for a while, until they, I guess they just simply couldn't keep the site running anymore. So, init- what initially they thought it was a, um, they thought it was a license licensing problem for their financial woes, actually uh, became pretty obvious. Uh, that it was a um, just an issue with the 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 site. Uh, I guess the the features, the, the 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 development of the site itself was was just incorrect. I guess they 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 built the wrong features, or uh, they built too many features. If that, if that makes sense, they got feature nitis. I don't know if that's the word, but basically, you know, they they build too much. I guess. And they, they forgot, they forgot that like, you know, the more features is good. But if you're building more features and these features are taking more and more money, it's not sustainable. Um, so I think, you know, that, that, that's kind of like at that point, they were like, oh, they were just too late. And, you know, when they realized that they had too many features, that these features were um, just resource hogs it was just too late and they just ran out of money at that point i think they 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 thought that they could just keep building 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 right uh and and then um i guess assume that eventually people uh, people were joining the site but i think they just assumed that these people like the more people join the more people subscribe and they probably overestimated the the amount of people that would sub- subscribe to a site where you can watch YouTube for free. So so it's like, I don't know. It just seems like the people that go to the site, it, it's like um, it's like watching a stre- uh, a streamer, right? I I liken it to watching a streamer if that makes sense. Um, you see, if you're watching a streamer, uh, like a single person, like you know, just one person streaming. Um, their overhead isn't 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 high if that makes sense right their overhead isn't high and, and I compare people watching uh, going to plug DJ uh, as I compare it to the same as same as um, watching a streamer if that makes let me explain so both offer free service right like you can watch a streamer for free you don't need to pay them you can go to plug DJ for free you don't need to pay them the only difference is the streamers overhead are much lower than running an entire site full of developers and coders and marketing team, right? Just an entire company. That's what Plug DJ was. It was it was it was essentially equivalent to a streamer, but without the overhead of a streamer, if that makes sense. Um I think that's the closest that I could get to explaining why Plug DJ failed. Um, now you're probably wondering, okay, well, how, what's, you're probably wondering, like, is this just impossible to build a site, a sustainable site? 
No, it's not impossible. I did it. I built a site called musique.com. Um, go to the link, music. Um, you can check out the tutorial video I have on my channel. Go check it out. It's the, I think it's the, it's on the front page of my channel. Um, music, it's M-U-S-I-Q-E dot com. I put the link in the um, video description. But yeah, so in essence, what music is, it's, it, it's a chat site like Plug DJ, uh, it's a chat site where you can watch any YouTube video with other people in any room, any room. There are two key differences that separates music from Plug DJ. <clears throat> the first difference is um, on Plug DJ, only you know selected uh, uh, selected people, selected people um, could DJ in the room, right? Um, you know, not 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 anybody could DJ. You had to be selected. Um, on on music, anybody, anybody can um, be a DJ. Anybody can add videos to the queue. If that makes sense. Yeah, anybody can add videos to the queue on music. So you're probably wondering, okay, what about um, people spamming the queue? Well, in public rooms, there are limits. Uh, limit um, on number of videos you can put in the queue so it's two at the moment so that that will that combat to that that issue so point two the the second reason why it's different is you, on music you can join any room on plug dj like you have you have to create your own room right you have to create a, a room before people can join on music every room already exists and i think that's what really separates music from plug dj from all these watch YouTube with other with other people with friends sites is on music you can actually like join any room you can literally it's as simple as typing into a box um, into a box and then you join the room instantly the the like as you join the room as you type that makes sense every room already exists like it just just I, I guess the concept is, is is foreign to people it's new because they never really experienced something like this you literally type into a box and you join that room Right, you join the room as you type. You don't need to. You don't need to create a room and then join it. That makes sense, right? Uh, you just literally type into a box and you join that room. So every room exists. Like, like you can join any room, any character room. That makes sense. Like you can join emoji rooms if you want. You can join rooms of different languages. If it exists in the um, Unicode character list, that room exists on music. That makes sense, right? So, like I said, you can join any room, and uh, and uh, you can share the room. You know, so 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 the you can you can you can join a room by link, and the format for that is music dot com slash room name. That makes sense. Um, but yeah, you can join room by link. You could join room by typing into a box on the site. So there's two ways to join a room, pretty much. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So you're like, so you so you're then you're probably wondering, okay, so how does this, um how is this sustainable right how is like you've told me that music like is this cool site with you know these what like these unique features that separates it from plug dj but what makes it sustainable that makes sense well i if you go to the site you'll, you'll realize it's very simple um a lot of features on plug dj does not exist on music because they were money hogs that led to plug dj's downfall right that makes sense for example, um, the playlist, whatever the playlist thing, I think I I removed that. You can't, I can't. You can't create playlists. You can't create playlists. You can't like do stuff all with that with that. Um, if you if you there, I have a workaround for playlists. Like you can uh, join a private room because public rooms have limits of two videos per uh, per queue per user. The workaround is for private rooms, so there's no limits in private rooms, uh, and, and the workaround is, you can, you can't like copy paste a YouTube playlist link into the box and click play and, because you know that's a money hog, right? You, need, um, but you can, you can, uh, copy paste a list, a list of YouTube links. If that makes sense, you can copy paste. So you create a text file. Copy paste all the YouTube links into that text file. Save the text file, 
and then that would be you know the text file of of your uh, name it whatever uh, give it like a playlist name and then what you do is you control a you copy all those list of youtube links and then you paste it into the box on music uh, in a private room and then you click the plus button and, and it'll it'll add all the youtube links to the queue so so that's the workaround so like i said if you can imagine i just i just kept it minimalistic as possible removing all money hogs all resource hogs as i could as i possibly can um and uh yeah, what else is there to say um yeah it, it's just it's a really good site it's built to be sustainable it's built to be scalable um you know like i said plug dj had a great site it was a great site but they had many issues um that led to their ultimate downfall which which was uh, i think i'll just reiterate um financial woes uh stemming from like I said, not really understanding uh, n- not really understanding like um just the true nature of their product if that makes sense um you know i guess overestimating uh the amount of people that would subscribe like i said my my a- analogy earlier uh, comparing a plug DJ to a streamer on, say, Twitch, for example, or YouTube, uh, without the over, uh, without the low overhead of the streamer, if that makes sense. So it had, it was literally it was very similar to streamer. Like people um, use their site for free. Like we could use the site for free. You can use, you can watch streamers for free. You can use plug DJ for free. Like I said, but they had a much higher overhead because they were like literally is. It's a company with many people involved, um, and it, like I said, the overhead was just too high. Um, not enough people were, were subscribed. Whereas, if the same amount of people that were subscribed to Plug DJ was subscribed to, like I said, a streamer, the streamer would be do, would would do just fine. It would do they he would do just fine because the overhead isn't isn't really that high. I mean, I mean, let's be honest, the overhead for a streamer isn't high. You just turn on your stream talk to talk to chat whatever play games you know like the only really real investment you have to make is you know uh, in your computer right you have to make sure that your computer can run the required games but other than that uh not really high investment um, a lot of time investment obviously you have to um, spend a lot of time you know uh streaming to zero viewers uh, and praying to god that um someone post your stream on live stream fails but hey look i'm just saying the overhead is much lower for a streamer and plug dj but plug dj didn't realize that they were essentially once again i'll say it a streamer without um their um the low overhead basically that, that's they they, they 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 didn't realize that that's what they were actually they weren't a company that you know had a sustainable business model basically um, the only real fix to that is to remove the money hogging, resource hogging features, get rid of all that, and uh, to, to become a lean company. Like, th- like, th- like they want to survive, right? So, so the only way to survive is to lower the, um, the overhead, basically, right? The overhead costs. You have to lower, o- lower them. What that means, yes, that means completely restructuring the code completely restructuring the site, restructuring the features. Uh, that means laying off a bunch of people for sure, you know. Uh, like I said, becoming a very lean company, like what Elon Musk did to Twitter. Uh, like what Elon Musk did to Twitter, Plug DJ had to do that to themselves. And they didn't. And maybe they tried to do it at the very end, but they ran out of money. And that was, that's that's all she wrote. That's all she wrote. So I hope... This 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 video is completely unscripted. I'm just like speaking my mind, you know. And uh, so you know, you can, it explains the all the stuttering and stuff because I'm just like, I'm just like speaking like, you know, no no script, no edits, whatever. So I'm just rambling basically. So um, you know, it's um, that that's basically it. That that's basically why Plug DJ failed. Um, you know, like it's a great site, but they they made a lot of mistakes along the road. And they failed to realize that, once again, they were essentially just a streamer uh, without the low overhead of a streamer. Um, and the only way 
to survive was to become lean, right? To restructure the, the code, remove a lot of unnecessary features that were taking a lot of taking up a bunch of money, take a bunch of budget resources. They needed to fire people, pretty much. Uh, like I said, they needed to become lean as fast as possible. And uh, either they didn't do that, or they tried to, but realized they ran out of money. So, uh, but yeah, that was the down. That was the reason why Plug VJ went down. And um, like I said, that's all she wrote. That's all she wrote. Luckily, music exists. Luckily, music exists. I built the most sustainable, the most scalable um, site where you can watch YouTube videos and chat with other people in any room. Uh, it's literally, I call it the greatest chat site in the world. So yeah, go check it out. Link to music in the video description. And I hope this video taught you something. Uh, something about plug dj about music about you know just how business works in general i guess so yeah i hope you learned something and yeah i'll catch you later peace